I want to win based on my policies are better. We're going to cut taxes. We're going to get interest rates down. You're going to be able to buy homes again. I mean, you can't buy a home today. The interest rates are so high. I want to win on safe borders. I want to stop wars. I want to stop the war in Ukraine with Russia. I want to stop what's happening in Israel. Israel would have never been attacked if I were president. Ukraine would have never, ever been attacked if I was president. Um, you wouldn't have had inflation. Inflation was caused by high energy prices. I had low energy prices. I would have kept them there very easily. And it probably maybe caused the war with Ukraine because Putin became rich all of a sudden. It went up so much. And I, I watched President Biden talking about Putin. Putin became very rich because at $100 a barrel, he's got so much money to fight a war. At $40 a barrel, he doesn't have the money to fight a war. But he wouldn't have done it anyway because I told him not to. So I just uh, want to thank all of you for being here. I think it's a very big day for America. I think it's a very big day for liberty. And I think it's uh, just a great day for this country. Again, I hope it's unifying like I think, but it is. It's a big step toward unification. I hope that the justices, because they'll be working on some other cases, but one in particular, presidents have to be given total immunity. They have to be allowed to do their job. If they're not allowed to do their job, it's not what the founders wanted, but perhaps even more importantly, it will be terrible for our country. Donald Trump's statements reflect a Democratic belief in achieving success through policy measures such as tax cuts, interest rate adjustments, and addressing issues like border security. Examining the broader implications of Trump's words reveals insights into victory, unity, and concerns regarding conflicts and their global effect. Trump's assertion that certain international conflicts, like the Ukrainian war, might have differed under his leadership suggests a strong foreign policy in line with his democratic views on defense and diplomacy. But the importance of executive authority is evident in Trump's support for presidential reunification and complete immunity. Exploring Trump's call for immunity highlights the need for leaders to fulfill their duties without fear of legal consequences. Considering the potential impact on democracy and the rule of law prompts reflection on the delicate balance between administrative power and accountability.